I've been an active user of flightradar24.com. So this allows you to track flights. And I wanted to create a receiver from a Raspberry Pi 3B Plus. So that's the minimum that they will, uh, the software is designed for. So you have to create a basic account. And if you want to get access to it, if you want to start with a receiver, you go to add coverage and then build your own receiver. And then it gives you the download instructions. Use a Raspberry Pi 3B plus or newer. An 8 gigabyte micro SD card. Uh, ADS-B dongle and power supply. So this is what I have. I have a high endurance SD card. The high endurance is recommended because there's a lot of read-write activity and eventually if you just get a regular card it's probably going to fail. 16 gigs is a lot. You could get by with us at least 8 gigs. So this is double the capacity. I couldn't really get a smaller one. And I bought the antenna. So this is the brand I got, Nuilec from Amazon. And this is what it comes as. I'll put a link for it. it seems to come with a cable to connect this, I believe. And then here's the antenna cable. And here's the antenna. All right, and let me show you the Raspberry Pi I'm going to use. So here's the Raspberry Pi. So it actually, this one actually has a monitor on it, a screen that is you could touch. I don't think I'm going to need that, but I'll leave it on for the time being. And this is where the card will go. I'll be replacing this after I download the software for it. And I basically just plug it in. You need to get... Let me see if I can show you what brand this was. It's a Raspberry Pi 3 Model B, which is just what I need. All right, and you also need a, a pretty beefy power supply, I think, because of the antenna as well. So this one has a recommended five, 3 amps. This is 3.5, 5 volt DC. So I'm going to download the software and install it, and let's see what happens. So I downloaded the file and I used Belena Etcher to install it. Uh, when you select the file and you start installing it, it will decompress the file first and you will get this message to format the disk. Just ignore it or cancel out of it because it's making a non-Windows partition. So while it's downloading, I unpack the contents of the receiver. And this is just you plugged right into USB. There is an extension cable, USB extension cable that you could use as well. I'm not sure if it needs to be away from the Raspberry Pi to get a better signal. I'm going to not use that cable for the time being and plug it in. And from here, I'm going to connect the antenna wire. And over here, there was different antennas you could install. There's this one that you could extend. It's a small stubby one and the longer one, which is under here. This longer one. I think I'm going to use the longer one. I'm going to try to use this indoors, a near window, and see if it picks up the signal. So let's see. So I connected a network cable and power, and this is what I have. Screen is active. The antenna is connected, so now I'm going to activate it using my free account on Flight Radar. Yeah, I even provide a link. On the website, after you get the Raspberry working, there's a link right here. Click the following link and your system will automatically detect the Pi24. There it is. Activate. And you mark the position, and I think that's it. Okay, so after I activated the unit, 
they sent me a document or a link to a document that tells me where's the best place to locate the antenna. Ideally, it should be on the top of a building, not on the side, not in the house. Right, and the placements and more ideal locations. Right, and at the bottom of the document, it basically summarizes and say placing the antenna outside as high as possible is essential. An internally positioned antenna will not produce good results. So I have a shed in the back of the house. I'm going to, uh, I have power in there as well. So I'm going to install it there, put the antenna on top of the shed and put the pie somewhere up in the attic space. Hopefully it won't get too hot and um, hopefully that will, uh, it'll be meet the criteria for being outdoors. So that concludes this. If you have any questions, let me know. Thanks. Oh yeah, another cool feature is if you have a screen connected to your Raspberry, you could actually see the aircraft tracked numbers changing and the aircraft uploaded. Changes every few seconds, which is pretty cool as the airlines pass overhead. So yeah, pretty cool stuff. I'll try to get the antenna outdoors. Right now it's up against the window and it's recommended that it go outside. If this helped you, please like, share and subscribe and thanks for watching.